hey there. <laughs> Happy, well this will be on a Tuesday when you guys see this. It's also Tuesday today. And we're just hanging out. We're getting some things done. I just decided to take a random midday shower. It's 3.30 right now. So very strange time to take a shower. Doing good on my water intake though, so happy about that. We are well past a month of quarantine, I believe, at least. I mean, I don't really know. I'm not keeping track of time that much, but I'm, I know it's past a month. So we're hanging in there. Now that we're a little bit more used to quarantine and this lifestyle and this routine, I do think personally it's been easier. It's still super weird. Obviously we miss doing everything normal, but I think it was harder at the beginning, just getting used to the shock factor. So something that I need to do this week is get my gel off my nails because it's just looking so bad so give you guys a little visual update this is what my nails look like right now there's basically two nails at this point like this is one nail and this is one nail type of vibes so i did order some acetone i don't really want to have to use that so i'm looking up right now how to get hard gel off at home and i'm going to attempt that these are my real nails i don't know if that's gonna make it any harder or not but i don't think i'm gonna keep them this long now that i can't have gel on them because or hard gel I should say because even when I have normal gel it's just not strong enough and I'll, I'll break them and now is just not the time to break a nail because I can't go into the nail salon and get it fixed so I think I might just take all this off and then take an L and have short nails again the thing is my fingernails are so small my hands are going to look incredibly different once I have short nails again, but it just is what it is. So I'm going to look this up and see how fun this is going to be to attempt, and then I'll show you guys the process and what I get up to because I'm sure you're all going through something similar and this will be a very relatable, fun little activity. All right, apparently, everything that I've watched the people use a nice little nail drill situation, but I didn't order one of those. I'm not going to because I'm only gonna do this once, I would imagine. So instead, I'm just gonna use a file and file off my gel, which is gonna take a while. So I'll be here doing this for the next 75 years, but actually, I'll show you in a second after I get some of this off. Maybe I can just paint over them. I don't know. I do not know. So this is gonna be so hard to do to my right hand. Current progress. There's dirt literally all in the camera. I just opened it and it fell out. <laughs> Still here. Went and blow dried my hair. Now I'm working on my right hand and I'm not coordinated enough my left hand to actually move the file, so I'm just moving my right hand on the file. And it's going all right. I'm just removing like the top layer of the Alexa, pause. The top layer that's just like the color and everything right now. Ow, ow. And then I will still have to remove the actual gel with acetone, so just like soaking them which is not what they normally do to my nails at the nail salon. They just like drill and file off the gel and then that's kind of why I like the hard gel better than dip because they don't soak your nails in acetone. But you know, we're here. That's what we're doing. Current state of affairs, folks. The end is still editing. Filing away. I had to steal Clayton away from editing to help me figure out how to fold the foil and make it nice for my fingers because I'm the foil man. His, his brain works nicely like that and mine doesn't. Yeah. Ready to, what? Yeah. Like this? I don't know. I'm scrunch it up. I'm just gonna do one hand at a time so that I can wait babe, I don't have the stuff in there. Oh like is that good? Yeah. I'm just gonna do one hand at a time because then I can have one hand. Yeah. Can you actually help me with this part, maybe? Yeah. Pulling them on my fingers. I'm also making a TikTok of this, but of course, I'm gonna bring you guys over here to this little TikTok station. And bring Clayton over here to help me, and we're just gonna get all the media. 
Are you ready? Mm-hmm. Of this on a little thing and put it in there and then you're gonna wrap it on my finger. Okay, just one finger. For the shot. One? For the shot. Okay. Let's try another one. Stunning nail salon at my house. Alright, let's try another one. You just put it in the foil first and then just dump that on it. I think it's a little bit easier. Oh, my burns my hand. Okay, don't, don't tilt it. Okay. You don't do the top, I'll do the top. Because the top kind of hurts. <laughs> Is it okay for your skin? Mm hmm not good for it. I put so much on that one, sorry. If that thumb falls off, we know why. Oh, it really cleans the floor. That's good. Use a towel. I feel like it evaporates. You are just a superb boyfriend. He does my nails. Soon he's gonna do my hair. Right? Mm hmm. We're gonna research the balayage technique. Young balayage, people say you're coming. Young Bali, God. young balayage. Young balayage. It's your rapper name. Young balayage. Oh, God, I just put so much on it again. It's okay. It's a little pinky blue. Thrive. My little pinky will just be. My thumb and my pinky are gonna fall off. There's no warning of this being that dangerous. It's just not good for your nails. I think. There they are. Edward oh. foil hands. Yeah, sorry. That one got a little out of control. Edward foil hands. This is an interesting. Maybe we should do more vlogs like this. <laughs> Just like we can pretend we're at the beach or something. Yeah, man, big wave. Whoa, look at that surfer. Whoa, dude. Yo, dude, watch your step, dude. Can you step on my towel? Oh my god, seagull. Oh my god. Oh, no. seagull. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I'm spraying seagull. Oh my god, don't kick that seagull. seagull. It's getting close. You guys, one time my mom threw me a birthday party when I was growing up, and she actually got like a giant blue tarp and put it on the floor and then filled the house with sand. No way. Yeah, it was a, a luau. Wow, that's... It was dedication. Dedication to the daughter. Never forget. Thank you, Mom. Okay. I'm gonna go sit with these and, like, watch a show or something. Okay. Here is one hand done. Where is the good light? Right there. So, yeah. This is what they look like. They're not in too bad of condition, but I'm not going to be able to keep them this long without gel because they could for sure break. So I'm going to chop them off. Sad day. I am still here. Buffing away. Chop this hand. This one is doing pretty good. going to chop them off and then I'll be done. But it's literally taking like four hours, so love that for me. You guys see it. This is what's going down right now. Beer pong. Water pong. Hold on. Um, Delaney is participating in a charity event tomorrow night playing beer pong virtually. So, what is it? Coach Clay is here to uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? instill some fundamentals and get her in the right mindset for tomorrow's match. So, we're gonna do a little practice round here tonight. Let me give her some tips, tricks that I've learned throughout my years of pong. She says she's not a very good beer pongist. Um, I actually don't think we ever played beer pong together. Maybe a couple times in college at one point. If you hear some weird people talking in the background, it's because we're watching Love Island. Love Island is so awesome. Always watching the Love Island. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. The beer pong court. All right. Okay, I think it's my shot. We haven't made one yet. We're working on it. There we go. Alright, you made it. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, you're up. So you pull the cup. Pull the cup. All the way over. 
That's good. Okay. There we go. See, I'm teaching her fundamentals. I'm teaching her some rules here. You taught me. She needs to be a little bit more uh, <laughs> elegant with her shot. <laughs> elegant, I guess. There we go. That was good though. Okay, we're hitting rim. We're hitting rim. I feel like that's We're getting one. there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Let's go. I don't want this stuff Oh, Oh, that was close. That was close. She's getting better. She's getting better. Oh, missed all of that. Okay, I'm getting worse. Okay. Let's see what she can do here. I think she's going to make one. I think she's going to make one. It's just really hard. Okay. Why does that happen? I, I don't know. It's Hold it like hard. this. Oh. That's the next technique. No, just roll it to me. I need to practice. You don't need to practice. You want me to hold it like this? Yeah, no. I do middle finger. Middle finger? Yes. A little more control it wasn't over here now, was it? True. Closer. <laughs> Give me both of them. How much you? You don't need to. Back. Uh, this is lasting forever. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. It's so high this table, okay. I feel. It is a little high for you. So then when the so ball bounces, yeah. it's like so a little bit for the close back. to it. <laughs> you don't need to be like this. Heck of a day, heck of a hairstyle here for you people. So another day in quarantine, had our workouts this morning and we just made, I just made some smoothies. Putting the oat milk back in the fridge. Bravo. Bravo, got my smoothie. You usually leave it out because I Smoothie right here. I'm not an Angels fan. Go A's. I typically leave the oat milk on the counter because I'm just that type of guy. <laughs> and <laughs> forgetful. <laughs> and also, I always leave the refrigerator door open and it makes a beeping noise. So the so soundtrack guys, of my life is beep. Because like. If you guys ever hear that sound in the background of a vlog. It's because I left the fridge open. I leave the fridge open at least five times a day. And it beeps at me at least five times a day. It's D. Yo D. What's up, D? You're like really small down there. <laughs> like, like, like. Oh my God. 
I'm about to set up a little set for Delaney's sneaker video that you guys could watch. It's now live. You guys can see that, bing bing. But I'm gonna use this bookshelf to like put the sneakers on behind her and like to the side of her in the video. And then we were also just kind of thinking like maybe this is ready for like a little restyle. So why not? why not? We got nothing else to do. So we're gonna restyle this bookshelf. I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. I mean, probably just move stuff around. Maybe lighten it up a little bit. We got a lot of our books on here, but we like books. I'm counting four candles, you know? You guys tell me, does this bookshelf need four candles? I'm gonna have to take that up with Delaney, but you know, so this is what it looks like. I mean, it looks pretty good, but I'm excited to see what we're gonna do to it. You look stunning. We are having a little snack time and kombucha in a wine glass. Um, if you know, you know. We're always drinking kombucha out of wine glass. It's our fave thing. Uh, you guys always ask me about these glasses on Instagram. So, Clayton, wait, we'll show them that in a second. I'm telling them something else. Time drops. Oh. Clayton! <laughs> Oh my god! Literally, stop! Ew, what are those going Crackers? Oh my god! You guys always ask about these wine glasses on Instagram, so I'll link them in the description box. These are the red wine version, because they're the biggest. Yeah, need a little extra. You're only gonna have one set of glasses, might as well have the... Yeah, we have the champagne flutes too, they're really cute. Yeah. Um, the kombucha that we're drinking is the Mystic Mango by GT's. Is it GT's or GTS? GT's. GT's. This is, this is like the best kombucha maybe. It's so creamy. It's like a juice. Yeah, it tastes like a mango lassi. Mm -hmm. You guys have ever had one of those mm -hmm. at an Indian restaurant? It's so good. Um, and for our snack, we're having bitchin' Bombay sauce and crackers. And also this creamy garlic this dip. This stuff's so good if you live in Los Angeles. I don't think they can see it, but it's creamy garlic dip. So good. <laughs> it is a Friday afternoon, and we did something exciting today. It's a secret, though. But it's a secret, so. It's a secret for now. Hopefully Soon we can share later. We'll be sharing. So. This is the first hint Teaser. of something exciting coming. But anyways, it's a Friday afternoon and we're just hanging out, having snack time. We're gonna cook dinner in a little bit, but for now we decided it was a good time to restyle our bookshelf that we tore apart for the video. Yeah, so that was the video. yesterday. I, I tore it apart, tore that apart yeah. yesterday and then just, we never got to style in it. Mm -hmm. So it's still got shoes on it. So we're gonna go ahead and take those off and Restyle. Oh, also, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take the camera to the mirror and tell them about this such Yeah. Because there's must this, have. there's drama. I need you to get a back there's shot. Drama after. No, but it's just it's so confusing. Okay. All right. Showing you guys the sweatshirt on me in the mirror. So this is the Playboy sweatshirt. We're obsessed with it. Me and Clayton share it. This is what the back looks like. If you can tell. It's so cute and cool. Uh, Clayton probably wears it more than I do. It's very edgy and cool. It's super comfy. And I'm showing you guys on here because it's kind of confusing. Ours is a size US4. That's what it says on the tag. But on the misguided website, on the misguided website, it says that a US14 is a men's large but this fits Clayton perfectly and it's US 4. So it's really confusing and so yeah, that's the gist. It's 50% off right now. I don't know if it will be when I post this, but I'll tag it for you guys because we love it. First thing I'm gonna do is take this little feather duster and I'm just gonna dust off all of the shelves. Obviously, there's so much dust in the world and as much as you clean, there's still dust. So. It's just good to do this, and then I think Clayton is gonna grab some cleaner and 
do like a wet wipe down just to give a little refresh over here and then we'll start restyling. Okay, let's do this. Clank, clanker claws. All right guys, so we just have a bunch of books and knickknacks here, picture frames, candles, all that kind of stuff. And the way that this shelf is set up, some things can only fit on like one shelf. Mm -hmm. This this tall vase has to live on this shelf. So. Or it could go, it doesn't fit down there, it would be too tight, huh? Here? Yeah, seems like it'd be too tight. It could fit, but it seems... The problem is just nothing else fills this up really nicely. Yeah. I think that should go there. Up top, fam, up top. So that's our feel, starting point. I'm kind of feeling this guy down over here. Okay, I think it should they be, used to be They used to be together. The head and the vase used to be together, I think. Maybe separating those was a nice... Okay. Mix up. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a little vase... Yeah, vase cluster. Cluster? Yeah, I like the vase cluster. Are we feeling all three? What do we think? I feel like... It's too much? The, maybe hold it, switch. Go down like that. Over here, kind of a little bit. What do we think? I think these are just too like. Okay, just these two. Or what's the other part of this? No, like those two as much of the same shape. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This Look thing is really freaking cute. Progress. So we have to use it somewhere. Here's a picture Clayton took of New York. New York. Flat iron. Should this go up here? Mm hmm. Okay, I like it. Maybe that can go with it. Oh, but then there's too many bases up there. Yeah. Alright. Why don't we use, I think maybe a, a box right here? A row of books. In between the. The only problem is. It in between the have, angel wings. In between the wings. And there's like six books. I mean, I don't even know how many we're going to be able to fit, actually. Might not be enough space. You can fit like four books right now. Do you like that? Kind of like it, though. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, now how about this solid group of books? Yeah. Almost all of them are Native American inspired. Okay, we're off to a good start. How do you feel about that? Is I it, is it like it. too much it. in that area? Maybe we'll move this down here. Yeah, because we, we want it to feel airy. airy. You hear that, guys? Airy guys, we want it to feel airy. These heads on the ground, you see your head? Uh, my head is airy. Maybe just, what if we just did a candle up top? And a pick of us. Ooh, yeah, okay. Oh. It's a vibe. You feeling that? I think this one. I'm feeling that. Okay, how about, I think the base needs to go here. Or on, or on this one. Give me that stack with the candle and the books. There's an interior design trick that you're supposed to put three things together. Obviously, we're not always doing that, but it's a little. Maybe that book should go with the head. Oh, yeah. It's kind of a vibe. Now, well, what else can we do? We need some more books somewhere, right? Here. I'll offset that or down there. What do I do? You maybe that? stack them. Do a one. Michelle Obama. It's cute. Maybe this little one. Cute? It's pretty cute. Do we need it to go even more? Or is that enough? Maybe that. I can have a stack it with a cute one on that. Maybe that goes under them. Is that too many? No. I don't think so. Can I see it without the loitering? Okay, the loitering could stay. It's kind of a nice contrast. Then I think I'm going to put this candle down there and this elephant. I guess for our bookshelf, we're going with more of twos than threes. We're so light. We're going here. for the airy vibe now. What do we feel? I think I love it. It's complete. I really like the stack offsetting the vertical there yeah and i think this is nice up here 
I like the two piece there. Just the single piece down there uh -huh. really makes it, you know, it's not like the same thing in every spot. Yeah. I think it's good. Guess who did it? Close the door. Uh, uh -oh. Huh? Not me. One hour. That is that family. I think it turned out pretty sweetness over here. Got your five stacker, five stacker of books. Got your vase by vase. Got your candle by picture. Got your books. Good books right here with good angel wing. Good holders. vibes. Good vibes. The base with the mini pompous right here. <laughs> oh, mini pompous. Candle on top of a book. Classy move. Classy. Book. Standing up book. Half open. Very, very classy. Gucci move. book. Gucci book too, guys. Gucci. <laughs> and then, of course, King Charles V. I think this is a girl. This is for sure a girl. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Athena. Ooh. Athena the Fourth. This like literally is Athena. Probably. Oh, beautiful. Co-directed. And now it's time oh my God. for tonight's main event. <laughs> Standing 6'4", 6'2", weighing 175 pounds. Chef, boy, R. C. Yo, everybody! Huh? The hell are yeah, you doing? what's good? I'm doing a boxing intro. That was so freaky. Not sure how you guys liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Give us your feedback. Feedback in the comments below. There's the kitchen. That's the kitchen. We cooking dinner right there. Family. 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 Hi, family. Dinner time. Family. 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 Oh, family. First, I'm going to do the dishes. Be right back. First thing first on the grill. Tip. Hot tip. Pro tip. Whenever you start cooking, make sure you start with a clean kitchen. I think I maybe said this before. It's like a. But you have to. Make it a nice environment in the kitchen for you and me together. You'll cook a better meal. Okay, tonight we're making vegan meatballs. Yeah, so this is kind of a recipe that I grew up making with my grandma, which is just like near and dear to my heart, obviously, because I would make it with my grandma. However, we do not make it vegan, so we modify it to make it vegan, but it tastes literally exactly how it used to, so it is so good, and if you guys are vegan or not, you should try it. You should, yeah. so delicious. You can try it with meat if you're, yeah, you know, whatever. Do, do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm just kidding, yeah. Live your life however you want. That's what we're about. We're using impossible meat. Yeah. We are only able to get this at Gelson's. So if you don't have Gelson's, I don't know if you can it's buy it somewhere. It's only in California. Ooh. Southern California, actually. That's like so rude of us. But I think they might be coming to other stores, but I know Southern California, I'm pretty sure it's only Gelson's. Yeah, we've only ever seen it at Gelson's. If not, you could use maybe Beyond. Yeah, beyond. Okay. First, let's tell them the uh, ingredients they need. Okay. Some sort of meat or meat alternative. Breadcrumbs. We use this panko style, or no, panko Italian style breadcrumbs. These ones are vegan. So yeah. And then we use minute rice. 
egg replacer for us. This is Bob's Red Mill. It works really Bob, well. Bob, he's got a hell of a red mill. <laughs> I don't know what that weird. means. Yeah. Um, and then we're also, can you get the broth out? Yes. We'll also need chicken broth or vegan chicken broth. We use the better than bouillon version. It's really good. It looks like this, I cook with it all the time. And then, do we need flour? We need flour. Yeah, right? we do. Flour, and then we're also gonna use butter. Probably use the earth balance butter. Well, flour. Butter. Not a lot flour. of flour. Okay, so Maybe now egg. let's get started. I'm gonna make an egg. One tablespoon of egg replacer, two tablespoons of water. Go ahead and put your meat in a bowl, fam. Two tablespoons of water. So you just mix water with the egg replacer. It's so easy. It's crazy. How much breadcrumb do you do, man? Oh, I just eyeball it. She likes to eyeball and eyeball enough. I do eyeball everything. So I'm going to go for it and she can critique it. No, you're back. not. What are you doing? Do a light glazing. No, just slow your roll. Slow the roll. Oh, yeah. This is an electric frying pan. Just like I used to do with my grandma. Whoa. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The espresso pot is falling. So you just mix this up and then it changes consistency and once it's fully mixed you just let it sit for a minute and then it gets like a little bit thicker. I guess we need seasoning too. Yep. If you guys are new here, Lowry's garlic salt is the holy grail of all of our meals. The grail. So just gonna put a pound of that in. <laughs> One pound. Pepper. I like a lot of pepper. Fun fact, if you thought your pepper was tasting weird lately, oh my God. and you have a mixed pepper one, it's because you have a mixed pepper one. Pepper tastes weird, white pepper. I like it. White peppercorns taste weird. I'm all about the black pepper. Being a little corn. diva. Hot Dots, AKA red pepper flakes. I like those too. Okay. Rice? Yep, okay, so then a trick is we put the minute rice in the mixture. meatball mixture, and then we also make some separately and have yeah. that with it. Yeah. So it's in the meatballs, and it's so good. It's a nice touch. Yeah, it helps with the texture too, but it's also just like a delicious treat because rice is actually rice is just amazing. my favorite food of all time. Okay, a generous amount of. Whoa. We're going ham in there, it looks like, uh, guys. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, do we need an overhead? I forgot right now, folks. Okay, we're adding the egg. Great. The first couple times I did this, I was being barbaric and used my hands to mix it. And then... That's how I used to do it with my grandma. They, yeah, and then they just weren't turning out. Like, but it kind of messed up like, the texture. They like fall apart or something. So now I just use a fork in it, and it's way better to like mix it. It turned and out better last I know time. this is metal on metal, so apologies in advance. You just mix this up real good. Yeah, so recently um, we've been trying to convert to using no metal on metal because you guys are always telling me on stories on Instagram that that's really bad for you. Um, so, because it like gets metal particles into your food and then you eat it, which is obviously bad for you. So we just ordered. Sounds terrible. Yeah, it does. Just ordered all of these cooking utensils. They're wooden with silicone tips. I think that's okay. I don't know. I'm sure there's something wrong with that too, but mm -hmm. I don't know what we're supposed to use at this point. So we're starting with this. A ladle, a whisk somewhere in there, a brush, a spatula. All kinds of good stuff. So we got these off of Amazon. We'll link them in the description box if you guys want to go metal free with us. Ta da! That's it. Really easy. That took like what? Do we need more garlic salt? Yeah, of course. Go ahead and olive oil me, ma'am. Okay. Also, I know olive oil hot is not like the best oil for you. But I olive hate the way. For you now? If you get it really hot, I hate the way avocado oil tastes. So, here I am. I cannot be perfect. Take your flour, put it on your 
put on a little plate, put on a little plate. And then you're gonna get your hands a little floured up, a little floured up there, a little floured up. Then you get your meatball selection mixture. Get a meatball, press it kind of into a ball, roll it, roll it real nice. Make sure it's really nice, firm, compact, just like a nice little vegan meatball souffle, you know? Perfect. Size of a ping pong ball, I'm saying. Size of a ping pong ball right here. Take it, roll it in your flour. This is key. Roll it in there, and there it is. You know, this almost looks like a dessert, one of those little dessert things. Oh my god, it does. But don't be fooled, because it's a meatball. meatball. You take your meatball and you put it in there. Wait, is it oil hot? It's getting hot. And then you do that many more times. the meatballs when they get little brown and then we're just gonna brown them on all sides gives it like mm. a nice crispy coat and it's the key to success so don't rush it yeah. meanwhile Clayton is cooking the rice on the other on the stove I guess I should call we're making some broth so I just put like close to a tablespoon of broth in the water. We're gonna heat that up and then we'll add a little bit to the meatballs to kind of steam them because they're all browned. And then we'll also use this broth to make gravy. Okay. We're gonna use our new silicone ladle. Okay guys, I'm gonna add this here and then it's gonna create like some steam and I'm just gonna close the lid. Kind of let those cook for a minute. Breaks up the crunchies on the bottom. All right, we're removing these and putting them on a plate. They look perfect. Oh, it smells so good. It smells just like my grandma's house when I used to make these with her. Like, you guys see this perfection? It's really hard to show you. I don't want to drop it. Wow, they stay together so well. All right, we're gonna put a little butter, broth, and oil in there and make a gravy. Look at those. Okay. Clayton is gonna take over on the gravy. He's quite good at that. And I'm gonna make some asparagus. I am obsessed with asparagus being skinny, and we found these ones at Trader Joe's that are literally like, hello, good morning, see-through thin, and I love that. So I'm just gonna fry these up with olive oil, a little bit of butter, and lemon, and garlic salt, and pepper. Things working on the roux. Okay, so tell them about the roux, babe, because that's so, a hard part. So make so sure the they roux know how to do it. is a little hard every single time. But what you gotta do? What's the key? What's the key to success? The here? key is to just add, add your flour. Well, first you add butter, and then when you're trying to get the roux going, you just add a little flour at a time, just a little and pinches, whisk away. and just whisk your heart out. And it takes a little while. You want to get that roux nice and bubbly and thick. And a little bit of, the tough part is always gauging how much flour you need to depending on how much broth you need or how much gravy you want. So you just kind of have we to. We want a lot of gravy, I have decided. So we I'm always gonna, want a lot. I'm going to go ahead and do. I I'll want it to be full of gravy. Probably do like a quarter cup to a third of a cup of flour by the end of this. And we also feel it's easier to thin it than it is to thicken it. So maybe like have it thick to begin with and then you just add more broth to make it thinner. 
but I don't know, uh, gravy is like an art that you just kind of gotta finesse. All right, for the asparagus, I just steam it a little bit in water first, and then I take the lid off so we can start getting them a little crunchy. Um, but I don't steam them very much because I still want them to be kind of crisp and not like too mushy. And I'll be putting the holy grail on them. All right, we're ready to roll over here. We are. You want some broth? Add your broth slowly. Oh, okay, it's cooked. It just depends on how much stuff is in there. You just want to keep it all the same consistency. Make sure uh -huh. your girlfriend touches an elbow to the face. Yep. You'll be spraying everywhere. I still doesn't understand how to whisk. It's all in the wrist. Oh, it hurts the wrist. Movement. It hurts the wrist. Oh, yeah, that's getting pretty. Rotate your wrist, girl. Do I need more broth? Oh, I'll be a one-man bang. I like that song. going to add a little dollop of butter to my asparagus. And then lemon is such a nice addition to the asparagus, so I'm going to Soften this up and squeeze some in there. Here is a look at my beautiful asparagus. Yum. I think the rice is done. Here's our cute little meatballs, staying nice and warm. Peyton's gravy. And then we're gonna add the meatballs back to the gravy, and we're also gonna put the rice in the gravy, and it's just Ooh. so good. Balls are going back in. Re-entering the balls. Ew. Give me those tongs, girl. Should we put some rice in this? Yep. It's such a home homey meal, guys. It really is, and it tastes so freaking good. This is like, honestly, this might be our favorite meal. All right, so there is the meatballs in the gravy and the rice, and then we're just gonna cover it and let them all, I think they Hang call this together. marrying. They marry. Marry the flavors. Marry each other. Okay, beauties are good too. And then we're gonna eat dinner. Finished product. Looks so good. Party to rescue your mind.